Hello, my name is David Wilcox. I'm a clinical education consultant for Biodex and by training an occupational therapist. And today I'm here to show you how to properly apply the unweighing system harness in preparation for body weight support treadmill training on Biodex's unweighing system. This is my colleague Kate and by training she's a neurocertified physical therapist and today she has volunteered to be my assistant in the application process. Um, to begin the application process we have the neoprene wrap. The neoprene wrap wraps around the patient's trunk to a moderate tension. It is held into place by these three straps over here on the side and it should be placed so the bottom of the wrap is between the ASIS and the greater trochanter. The neoprene wrap is optional. Um, if you decide to use it, it can prevent slippage during body weight support treadmill training. All right, so as you can see right now, the unweighing system harness is on Kate, and it first starts off with the vest, the vest portion. The vest portion is attached in the front uh, by two buckles and two fasteners and it has a, a blue strap that comes around the front. It's much like a seat belt. And that's how you can tighten it right there. In the back, we have three adjustments that can also be adjusted back here by either tightening or loosening. To be able to tell if the vest is on correctly, take a look at this anterior buckle that faces downwards uh, towards the floor or down the person's thigh. This buckle right here should line up with the greater trochanter in this position. I just wanted to spend a couple minutes going over the importance of the buckle that lines up with the greater trochanter on the vest. Uh, when you put the vest on, sometimes this buckle can lay either anteriorly or posteriorly um, to that greater trochanter. If it's too far out in front or anterior, then what you have to do is make adjustments to the vest. And the way that you're going to do that is by tightening the straps in the back and loosening the straps in the front so uh, the, the vest makes those adjustments and um, that will bring the buckle over that greater trochanter. If the buckle lines up uh, posteriorly to the greater trochanter, then it's the opposite. The vest has to be tightened in the front and has to be loosened in the back until the buckle lines up with the greater trochanter. If one buckle is posterior and the other buckle is anterior, uh, then the vest might just need to be adjusted and turned. Now that we have the vest on, we're going to be coming down to the thigh and applying the thigh straps. And the first thing you want to do is be able to find these two plas plastic clasps. And then the strap is going to wrap around the thigh. And now we're going to attach the plastic clasps together, like so. And as you can see on Kate, it's on the outside part of the leg where the plastic clasps are. Um, and we're still locating this buckle that's dropping down the thigh over the greater trochanter. Yellow buckles. I'm going to attach, make that fairly snug. And remember, this is not going to be overly tight. OK, so once this buckle is on in the, on the um, outer part of the leg. We're going to come back um, to the back side and we're going to take the red gluteal fold strap which starts, which originates in the inner part of the thigh and we're going to bring it diagonally across the buttocks like this and make that nice and tight. Okay, uh, This is going to be important because this is what's going to help prevent slippage from happening during body weight support treadmill training. Okay, now time for the right side, the thigh strap.
brown to brown. Coming around the back side, gluteal fold. Diagonally across the buttocks.